NFC Divisional Round Matchups. So Saturday at 8.15, we have the New York Football Giants. And Danny Dimes. And Danny Dimes, as my co-host would say. <laughs> Damn straight. And we have Philadelphia Eagles with the Hurt Hurts. Mm. So I like that we one. Still don't, we still don't know what's going on with Jalen Hurts. The last game he played, he didn't look that sharp. He looked like he was still injured. But he's had a week and a half to get right and get his guys to the promised land. I think the Giants are really good on defense, Saquon. Like I will always say, whatever is, is the way to success. But I feel like that Philadelphia defense will keep Daniel Jones in check, man. Those boys are freaking killing it. Sack leaders, man. So that defense or whatever is going to keep that stuff or whatever. Just, 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 just smaller, just a small margin. Like I don't think Saquon is really going to get off of this game. And Danny Dimes or whatever probably throw like two picks. So I'm going with the Philadelphia Eagles. The utter disrespect you you slay on Danny Dimes, fresh off of having the best game of his career in the first yes, playoff right. start. Bro, the, that's one, whack. Against, that's whack. What, against one of the worst defenses. That's why I can't get that shit no credit. That's whack, bro. I, come on, man. He throw a slander on that man at the high okay. point in his career, bro. Okay. He's not I, gonna be the, he's not gonna be the great white height for me, bro. I've seen that movie. <laughs> That's a good movie. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. However, so the Eagles and the Giants played uh January 8th. Um, they just played, and they also played December 11th, 2022. So when they played in December, they beat the Giants 48 to 22. When they just played uh, in January 8th, they beat them 22-16. So, what Philly is going to have to do to win this game is they're going to have to beat a division rival right. three times in a row. It's hard to do. San Francisco makes it look easy. That's San Francisco. And we're going to really see if Philly is on the level of San Francisco. I'm convinced that San Francisco is a better team. I've been saying it. I have credited the Eagles. They were the last undefeated remaining team. They have uh, overachieved big time this year. Uh, great team, by the way, not taking nothing from them. However, I'm liking what I see from the Giants right now. I really am. I think I'm buying into the hype, bro. And I could see an upset or two happening this week. And when I look at all these games, that's one that sticks out to me outside of Cincinnati and Buffalo, like we just covered. This is my other upset pick. The New York Giants are going to beat the Philadelphia Eagles, upset them in their own backyard. Can you just imagine what that would do? That just seems like something that would happen to the Eagles mm -hmm. to me. Uh, I'm not saying the Giants are a better team. I'm not saying that because they're not. They have an advantage on every – and every, and every position of the ball, except for running back. So Philadelphia is obviously better. It's just something about the Giants right now, man. In their first year, I just, I don't think their season ends. And I think they find some way to keep that. I keep it close and let me, give me them for the win, man. Right now, Philly's favored by eight points. I definitely think the Giants will cover the eight point spread, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to switch it up and I'm going to pick the Giants to win this game. Watch Philly eat, make me eat my words. <laughs> Bro, when I was talking about the Giants earlier in the season, man, you felt like I was out of my freaking mind. But now you're going. I thought you was now. on drugs, bro. Bro, bro, you did not believe what I said, man. That's what I understand now. How can you jump on the bandwagon so early, so late? You feel me? Because, it's so funny to me. Because they started off slow and they over it. Dude, seeing is believing, my friend. And. Even you had jumped off the hype train for a while after, but yeah, you start off the season. You did, you were high on them. You told us they were a top when we did a top five team, they were one of your top five teams right. and you strictly reiterated because of the defense and how efficient right. they've been. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I remember that and they are, man. And something just tells me they know Philly really well. I don't know, man. Stranger things have happened before. That's all I'm going to say. You're Give right. me the giants. But I'm going with Philly. Yeah. I got to go with Philly, man. I don't think they'll cover the spread though. 
for the Sunday night game, NFC Division of the Round, we have the Dallas Cowboys and we have the San Francisco 49ers at 6.30, 6.30 p.m., man. So it's going to be a good one. It's definitely going to be one of the top games or whatever this this uh, offseason, what is postseason. Cowboys are looking good, coming off a big win at Tampa Bay, which is a very tough place to play. But I guess not of late because those boys <laughs> threw every pass mm-hmm. every one or two all over us. Yeah, they did what they wanted, bro. Mm-mm. Yeah, so they handled big Don't business. Don't give them that. <laughs> San Fran just handled big business against Seattle, which is a division rival. Man, I think this is going to be a very, very high-scoring game, man. Really? I'm thinking, I'm thinking 30, 35 points apiece, man, 35-34. I'm thinking that the – I'm thinking that the Dallas Cowboys just might pull this one off, man. I think they might just have enough offense. What? Just enough offense to beat San what? Francisco. What? Just enough, bro. They got oh they got a lot of stuff God. going on. They got a lot of stuff going on over there, man. So I'm thinking one point game, 35-34, Dallas Cowboys. You just picked the Dallas Cowboys to beat the San Francisco on episode 17 of Let Loose. That's what you're doing right now. I did. I did. Bro, you are crazy. You think this is going to carry over into playing San Francisco's defense? San Francisco is a whole nother monster, man. Come on. You know better than this. They're not going to lose to the Cowboys. And that's no disrespect. And that's and that's another thing. I don't think it's going to be high scoring for Dallas. I You think Dak's going to ball all over that defense? San Francisco and company? Dude, so. they're going to eat that boy. They're going to eat that boy up. They're gonna be gonna hitting be him left game. and right. He's gonna running be running game. for his life. Running I don't. Game, I don't think they're gonna be. I don't think they're gonna be able to run on him, bro. San Francisco's defense. They're gonna show up st- like extra motivated. It's gonna be too much for Dallas. I think maybe uh, Dallas will probably keep it close in the first half. In the second half, San Francisco will pull away from just like they did last game. That's how they win a lot of these games. They're just a whole nother monster, man. Christian McCaffrey, Debo, George Kittle, and you got they put it was it didn't really matter this last game because you know Tom Brady and the receivers all not on the same page, uh missing throws. They couldn't do they couldn't execute on the simple shit. San Francisco will, and they're gonna hit you with multiple angles. You have Trayvon Diggs at corner and Anthony Brown, your backup corner. You have other corners out. It's a liability. You got George Kittle to worry about. Brandon Ayuk is no is no scrub. He's a beast. Obviously, like I said, Debo, Christian McCarr. It's just too much. It's gonna it's gonna be too much for them to handle. I think. Bro, Sam- but the key, but the key to the stuff, or whatever, is gonna be Brock Purdy. I feel like they got something for Brock Purdy. I feel like this this stuff is coming to an end now, man. You've had your success. You've done big work. But I feel like time has come to an end. You fa- you're facing the one of the top defenses or whatever, especially with the pass rush. So this man gonna have to be running for his life, man. I'm telling you, bro. That's yeah. He ain't gonna be able to sit back there and chill and just hit the open receiver like last game. All that 18 for 30, three touchdowns and all 300 yards. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's not that. That's not gonna be this game, man. You might have 200 yards this game, bro. Well, I San Francisco is just too strong for Dallas, in my opinion. I don't see Dallas being able to do much that that it's gonna come. That's gonna remotely give them a fight at the end and that's like and that's no shade of dallas i i just feel like san francisco is that much better i feel like they built exactly the same except for the quarterback i feel like they built pretty much exactly the same because dallas dallas's two running backs is like mccaffrey you feel me like put together whatever even though tony Pollard is a a pro bowler right now but those two is like those kind of even itself out, you know what I'm saying? You got Samuel Lamb, that kind of evens itself out. But all the rest of that stuff or whatever, like I said, is just the quarterback, you know what I'm saying? Dak is one of the top quarterbacks, even though he throws a lot of interceptions. You know what I'm saying? He's still the top guy. Yeah, this year he has, and that and that's uncharacteristic of him. But So let me ask you this. Win or lose, which quarterback do you think has a better game this in that game, Brock Purdy or Dak Prescott? I think Brock Purdy will have more – Efficient game and maybe more touchdowns, but I think uh, Dak gonna have the more yards. 
more yards, but it had a couple of interceptions or whatever on his on his side too. And so you think th- you might throw like three touchdowns, two interceptions. Purdy might throw like two two touchdowns and one interception. And Dak's gonna be on the winning side with stats like that. You think? Yeah, it's gonna that's still gonna be on the winning side. I think you're crazy. Um, oh, you gotta go. We're gonna with, definitely you gotta go with the underdog. Gotta go with the underdog. I already did. I did my last pick. The Giants. I told you. That's my underdog that's pick. That's my, right. All right. You Fair enough. One, you ain't the only one that can have an underdog pick, cuz. Hey, I'm ahead. I'm ahead in the picks right now. So <laughs> you okay about one. <laughs> hey, that's all right. Well, if your bucks, I'd be I'd be undefeated. Yeah, I know. Real. They, they messed us all up. They messed us all up. <laughs>